This trailer is equipped with the Meritor Automatic Tire Inflation System, or MTIS, and the industry-exclusive Thermalert Wheel End Heat Detection System. This video provides an understanding of system operation and what to do when the system indicator light illuminates. When the tire system indicator light is illuminated while driving, chances are that you have either a tire problem or a wheel end thermal event. You should safely pull over at your earliest opportunity to determine the issue. Let's first explain the basic operation of the system. MTIS uses air from the trailer air tank and runs it through a control box that regulates it to the user specified cold tire pressure setting. The regulated air is then routed through the hollow trailer axles and to the tires through the hoses connected to the valve stem. Should one or more of the tires fall below the cold pressure, the system will automatically provide air to the underinflated tire or tires. This will occur while the trailer is stationary or moving. A sensor mounted inside the control box will activate the light when air is flowing through the system. The system is also equipped with a pressure protection valve, or PPV, which will only supply air to the tire inflation system once the pressure in the air tank is above approximately 80 psi. The PPV ensures there is sufficient air in the system to operate your brakes prior to supplying air to the tire inflation system. Shortly after connecting air and power to the trailer, it is common for the tire inflation system indicator light to illuminate. This is likely the result of the system charging, a low tire being topped off to cold pressure, or a combination of both. This may take a few minutes. If the light is illuminated for 10 minutes or more, refer to the maintenance manual, as your trailer tires or air system may need attention. However, the initial charging may not occur until after leaving the yard. This occurs if the air tank pressure was not high enough to open the PPV immediately after initial hookup. As mentioned earlier, when the tire system indicator light is illuminated for an extended period while driving, it is likely that you have either a tire problem or a wheel end thermal event. You should safely pull over at your earliest opportunity to determine the issue. First, perform a visual check of all your tires. Look and listen for tire damage such as punctures, sidewall tears, or other issues that would cause a leakage. In the case of a low tire or a damaged tire, you will need to evaluate if you are able to continue driving or if immediate action is required. To determine if you have a wheel end thermal event, the obvious sign is a hub exhibiting elevated temperatures. Also, because of how the thermal alert feature works, it allows the pressurized air to escape from the axle and through the hub cap vent, which typically creates an audible sound. If you have a wheel end thermal event, do not move the trailer. You will need to arrange for a roadside repair. Warning, continued operation of the trailer could result in extensive damage to the axle and unsafe conditions such as a trailer fire or a wheel off situation. Be sure to notify your fleet's technicians of any tire or wheel end issues experienced during a trip. Although the system can charge a leaking tire during vehicle operation, we recommend inspecting the tires for wear and damage at regular intervals, and check tire pressure regularly as follows. If equipped with check port or CP hoses, hose removal to check the tire pressure is not necessary. Check tire pressure at the check port hose as shown. For non-CP hoses, remove the tire hose at the through T fitting. Press the pressure gauge to the tire hose and read the pressure. If the tire pressure is correct, reconnect the hose to the through T fitting. Hand tighten the knurled fitting. Do not use pliers. After manual tire pressure check, troubleshoot the system if the tire pressure is not correct. Please refer to the MTIS maintenance manual MM14P for additional information.